David, the, the last few years have not been great ones for the Red Sox, excepting 2021. Two straight last place finishes, three last place finishes in the last four years, some scaled back spending in terms of payroll. What's your assessment of where the franchise is and the direction the ownership is trying to take it right now? Well, what we have right now, it's not a good shape. I mean, numbers don't lie. Um, last year, you can tell that the fans were very disappointed with the way things were going. I, I don't remember seeing Fenway Park uh, that empty uh, in home games. Uh, I saw that quite of, uh, often uh, last year. And let me tell you, the team carry a lot of injuries. The team play uh, over 500 into the last, what, three weeks of the season where everything really fell apart. And playing 500, still the last place because of the division that we are in. Everybody play over 500 on that division. Everybody had got better. And I would say this, they know that the competition as of right now and that division is, 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 is at their best because you got teams like Baltimore leading the division. You have teams like Tampa doing what they do every year. Even if during the playoff they fall apart, you have the Blue Jays uh, getting better also. And then you have to deal with the Yankees who you know that every year they're going to try to do something to dominate that division. So the message that you should get is <laughs> I had to pull that trigger. I have to go out there and get the best player out there to the off season that can hold me to dominate in that division because nothing goes for free. There's no free passes in that division. There's no free passes. In that division, you go or you go. You cannot, you cannot see back and wait for things to happen. Mm -mm. You got to chase those things for that to happen. So the Red Sox need to jump back on that wagon. We need to, you know, get aggressive uh, during this offseason because we are we are at the age where we had to turn back the clock and give the fans what we got them used to, winning. You know what I'm saying? We had to find a way. And not just winning because we were winning. We played 500. It's, it's winning to to play 700 so we can come out on top of that division because 500 is not good enough.